Greetings and welcome to another edition of Political Empire. I'm your host, Kim Pearsall, with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. We're going to talk today about how the NAACP won't be meeting in Menifee, at least in Sun City. And then we're going to be talking about the Mary Bono Mac and Raul Ruiz debate uh, that recently occurred that was very fiery. So first, no go for the NAACP. The Sun City Civic Association in Menifee has denied the appeal of a local chapter of the NAACP, saying the group can't meet in its clubhouse because it's, quote, too political. Public service organizations can normally pay $25 a year to meet at the space and take advantage of its meeting space, its chairs, etc. NAACP officials say prejudice motivated the rejection. And now on to a discussion about the Mary Bono Mac and Raul Ruiz debate. It was the very first time that the two candidates for Congress had met on the same stage for a debate and it was pretty feisty. Um, here to tell us more about what this encounter entailed is our reporter, Jeff Horseman. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us today. You watched the debate. Tell us how feisty is feisty. Uh, very feisty. And I've been covering politics in one form or another for more than a decade, and this is really one of the nastiest debates uh, I've seen. It started out with uh, Dr. Raul Ruiz, who's the Democratic challenger to Republican Mary Bono Mack. Uh, he started out with his opening statement kind of talking about ending partisan gridlock and bringing a more collaborative approach to D.C., but then he went on to portray Mary Bono Mack as part of this partisan machine who was only interested in helping her wealthy donors and raising her own pay. And and he, he tried to uh, deflect what's been a common Republican uh, attack against him, that he's going to be kind of in lockstep with Nancy Pelosi and, and the liberal Democratic leadership if elected. Uh, he actually t uh, turned to the congresswoman and said, you're not running against Nancy Pelosi. You know, basically, you're running against me. And so all these attacks about me being a liberal and so forth uh, are really beside the point. Well, and what about Mary Bono Mack? What kind of points did she bring up? And from the get-go, she brought up a pretty controversial claim, correct? Absolutely. Uh, so Dr. Ruiz went first with his opening statement and followed by the congresswoman. And it, I found it interesting because she said, well, I'd like to talk about the issues, but first. And then she went on to with a narrative that portrayed uh, Dr. Ruiz as this far left anti-American radical who, among other things, hate, hates Thanksgiving. She referred to his 1997 arrest when he was uh, a Harvard uh, University student um, where he was protesting um, at Plymouth Rock, uh, you know, on what was called a National Day of Mourning, which was to call attention to the abuses of Native Americans uh, since the Pilgrims arrived. And uh, she basically said, you know, that he wanted to smash Plymouth Rock, that he supported Leonard Peltier, who's this uh, controversial American Indian activist who's imprisoned for the murder of uh, FBI agents, and that we don't want to elect this uh, radical... Uh, Thanksgiving-hating um, you know, leftist uh, to represent us. Ruiz did invite her to his Thanksgiving dinner, though, so that was an interesting rebuttal. What else, uh, how else did Ruiz respond to that? Well, you know, he said, obviously, he doesn't hate Thanksgiving. He said he did not support Leonard Peltier. Um, he acknowledged being arrested, but said that he, you know, the reason why was he was defending an, an American Indian elder from being beaten and pepper sprayed by police. And he tried to turn the tables on Bono Mac saying, this is, a, you know, America is about freedom of expression and this is about celebrating Native American heritage and bringing their voices to the American story. And shame on you, Congresswoman, for trying to engage in smear tactics and character assassination. Well, Jeff, thanks so much for giving us an update on what happened during the debate. And uh, thank you for watching another edition of Political Empire. We're going to be here tomorrow. And in the meantime, Definitely support your local newspaper, pick up an edition of the Press Enterprise with this news and even more.